So now we're going on a long, strange trip. Yeah. Back to the space station? Um, space station? I mean, home ship. Your little, I don't know what it's called. The gunship? Yeah, gunship. Yeah, that's what it's called. Really? Doesn't have a cool name. It's just called Samus's gunship, yeah. Uh, I feel but like it should have a cool Before name. we get that, we have a, you know, a certain upgrade to obtain. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So pretty much we go all the way to Fandrana Drifts, grab an upgrade, and then go all the way back. That's what we're going to be doing this episode. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Fandrana sounds like this cute chick that's like, she wears like this blue dress and she's got like, like maybe like blue trim on the sides of the dress and that kind of stuff. And like pearl <laughs> necklace and stuff. Oh and my crap. Poor little Metroid. Why does he have to die? I still want to do a He has run to die because he attacked me. <laughs> I still want to do a run at this game where you don't kill any of the Metroids other than the one you have to kill. Um, but, like, you just collect them along the way and get them to, like, <laughs> follow you everywhere. That'd be awesome. Oh, I wish. Um, and, like, become a Metroid herder. But, like, yeah, Fendrana, like, I just feel like she's, like, and she'd, I don't know, she'd be, like... She'd, uh, what, what was it? She'd have, like, a blue, like, gem and gemstone, like, kind of thing in her hair with, like, little blue feathers sticking out and stuff. And she'd be like, I am Fendrana, Queen of the Drift. And she'd give you cool powers and stuff. <laughs> queen of the Drift? Yeah. She'd have the, the drift would be her, like, energy world thing. I don't know, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. She okay, sounds like sure. a character. That's all I'm saying. Like, some RPG character. <laughs> that sure is a character. A uh, you know what? She'd be kind of like Palatina, but blue. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that would be sort of like a similar vein, but more. Um, you yeah, know, I, I I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, some I don't know, something like that. Not yeah. pa not pa wait, Palatina. Yeah, yeah, Palatina. Okay, yeah, I had a I had a brain freeze for a minute there and got Palatina mixed up with um uh um Princess Daisy. I was like, wait, which one am I talking about? Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just Princess double check. Daisy. Just double check it in my head. I was like, wait, which one am I? Huh. I'm like, yeah. I don't know about you, but I do not like almost any of the Nintendo princesses because they're just they're usually just like really lame. Yeah, I I kind of I kind of always like was hoping like uh, what's her face um, the new one Rosalina. I was kind of hoping she would turn out to be evil, <laughs> or like or or I was kind of hoping that she would turn out to be like. I don't know, secretly, like, really smart and have, like, a bunch of, like, machines or something like that. I, I, or, or, like, was, like, plotting, like, to overthrow the universe or... Yeah. I don't know. There was part of me that just thought, like, she'd be way cooler than she actually turned out to be. <laughs> like, Instead, now she's just, like, the character they just throw into things yeah. for no reason. Yeah. They're just like Mario Kart? Yeah. yeah. Have Rosalina twice. Yeah. I just thought she was going to be... Like, I thought she was going to be, like, maybe, like, the cool princess that was, like, I don't know. Nah. Nope. <laughs> Nintendo does have a cool princess. Melia. Mm -hmm. You don't know who that is? Nope. From Xenoblade. Oh. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's not really a Nintendo character. Yes, it is. Nintendo owns Xenoblade. Is, is, and they, they funded it, the or game. is it, like, a third-party thing? It's second party. Mm, all right. So, like, she could end up in Smash Brothers without, like, a bunch of legal mumbo-jumbo? Yeah, is... because Nintendo owns it. No, oh, okay, let me ask. Uh, wait, is this, like, a Sonic thing? No, it's not. Okay, okay. That's what I was trying to get at. All right. No. Like, like Shulk? Yeah. He got in easily because yeah. Nintendo's like, yeah, right. we have Xenoblade, so we have Shulk, so we're going to put him in the game. They didn't really have to go through much legal stuff because they owned it. I'm definitely not drinking water. Um, <laughs> I I still stand there should be a, a princess plum game or princess plum and princess violet and they're like totally like hardcore like and they go on like treasure hunting stuff and like I don't know I guess they'd be kind of like chic mixed with Wario but like mixed with princess Peach <laughs> and princess Daisy but like instead of Peach it's plum and instead of Daisy it's violet and like they. I don't know, go dungeon diving and it would be like a Spelunky-like game. <laughs> okay, that was an awfully specific... Uh, <laughs> I've thought about this. ...fictional scenario. <laughs> <laughs> but they're like kind of like bad, but not like really bad. Kind of like Wario, you know, he's kind of bad. Yeah. He's, not like, he's not like, oh, like he's more greedy than he is like, like, haha, I'm gonna like kill 
children and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think Bowser does that. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds more of like Ganondorf levels yeah. of yeah. yeah of doing bad stuff. Yeah. And uh, come to me. And that would be their game, and then, um, and then, well, then you'd have to create another Rosalina-like character. Who, oh God, now no, what would her like? A, what's no? You gotta come up with another flower, um, ugh, like um, hibiscus. -a. <laughs> no, <laughs> and she's the cool one. <laughs> you know, what? we need we need to make Princess Eclair a thing. Eclair? Why? Yeah. What? So yeah. you can squeeze her and like all, all the <laughs> stuff what? just squeezes out. No, that's what I do when he clears no, so, and I get them. <laughs> so in Paper Mario Two, okay, you can uh, you can talk with Luigi, uh -huh. and he's like, "Yeah, I've I've got to save Princess Eclair of like of what like the Donut Kingdom or <laughs> it, it was something really Did he weird." Wander into Adventure Time. Yeah, it <laughs> it was really crazy and. Um, like, Luigi has his own, like, side story in Paper Mario 2. Mm. And I'm like, why couldn't this just be its own, like, entire game? It would have been so cool. Oh, yeah, I didn't... I, I haven't played that one. It's it's pretty much one of the best RPGs ever. <laughs> oh, is that the one with the... Um, with the... With the... Oh, with, the, with, the little, with the little Goomba girl that tattles on people? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, that game's really good. I I played it for over a hundred hours on my first playthrough, even though that's like it's an RPG, so you're like, oh, that's that's fine. Like it's supposed to be long. That game is not supposed to be very long, but mm. I still played it for over a hundred hours. I like. I watched some people play that, and like YouTube guys, and yeah. Uh, my only issue with that game thus far, from watching people play it. Mm -hmm. Is you can have like multiple characters in your party, but you can only have one person in your party at a time, like active. Yeah. And I don't like that. I'm sorry. I just that's my complaint. And I'm 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 sure it's a great game and everything, and and it looks great and looks fun and it looks awesome. I just would have liked it if like okay, you've got the turtle shell guy, you've got the goombella. Shouldn't you just be able to have both of them in your party at the same time? It would just be nice. Like that's all I'm saying. It's a very minor complaint. I'm just yeah. an ensemble cast kind of guy. All that, it, yeah. That's a, yeah. Yeah, I, I know what you mean, but also the game is built around having only two people at once. I, I know, so. I know, but I'm just, I, I don't. I, I'm just saying. I, I'm just personal. That's how I'd want it. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking my water. I don't care. Taking that water. <laughs> taking that life liquid. Yeah. Life and liquid brought to you by water. <laughs> brought to you by water. Uh, so the new Zelda game, Breath of the Wild, right? Yeah, that looks I saw, good. I saw the video and everything, and I'm like, I'm okay with like Zelda being all like, oh, I'm gonna cry and Link and stuff, but I would also like her to sheik out and do something totally hardcore too. Yeah, like jump off a cliff and like punch, I don't know, a dragon or something. <laughs> <laughs> or no, she like jumps off a cliff, does like the hook kick off like a bird or something, like you know, an evil bird. And um, and then like throws a bunch of like ninja stars or whatever the crap she throws. I don't know. And then like comes down and like punches a dragon. That would be pretty cool. I'll shoot okay. That. Again, a very specific <laughs> fictional scenario. <laughs> but yeah, that would be really cool. Um. Oh. Is, okay. I'm just saying. Like, I'm okay with like her like being like emotional and that kind of stuff and having like there'd be like intimate scenes between them and that kind of stuff. And okay, that's cool. But like. Can we bring back, like, we all wanted Sheik to be, like, way cooler than she actually ended up being in whatever it was. Yeah. In the in, uh, Ocarina of Time. Like, like, I, I would love a, just a Sheik game where you're, like, playing as Zelda being oh, sneaky yeah. and stealthy and occasionally, like, kicking things and throwing ninja stars. Yeah. Every, everybody really wants a Sheik game. Yeah. And I do, too. Yeah. Because that's a good idea. And swinging around from ropes. Also, we've we've reached our destination. It's only been nine and a half minutes, though. Um, well, okay, go in the thing. Isn't oh, is there gonna be a thing that happens when you get out of the ship? Yeah, there's like a there's a ton of stuff forward without getting to a 
a save point like it's going to be at least another 10 minutes before the next save point oh okay so that's like a whole another video okay so so um so this is neon cheetahs and we like birds and we want a sheet video game yes and, and follow me on twitter do yeah. that <laughs> what follow me on twitter what's your twitter it's it's my username brenton itis and I am now Energy Falcon. He's an Energy Falcon. Good night. <laughs>